We'll be back with Andre Sabatier and Danny Melendez for the World Flyway title right after this. Lee J. Nelson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Expo in beautiful Portland, Maine, for an evening of ESPN Championship Karate. These fights are sanctioned by the FFKA, Terry Nye, President, and the Maine State Athletic Commission, Stanley Kuzinski, Chairman. The missioners at ringside are Harry Dalton, Joseph Graziano, and Raymond Jason. Our fight doctor, Dr. Michael Bendix. And our referee for this fight, Paul Kears. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's throw some dynamite. This fight is a 12-round FFKA World Flyweight title bout. Introducing, in the red corner, he's from Portland, Maine. He's five feet four inches tall. Weighing in today at 120 pounds. He has a record of 12 wins, three losses, seven of those wins by knockout. He's the number one world contender. Let's hear it for Danny Melendez. And his opponent in the blue corner. He's from Marseille, France. He's five feet seven inches tall, and he weighed in today at 120 pounds. He has a record of 34 wins and only one defeat. He is currently the European champion. Please welcome in the blue corner, Andre Sovatier. Jeff, the fans in Portland are anxious. And with this crowd, he has to be a little bit nervous, even with his experience. Round number one, two-minute rounds in full contact karate. Sabatier in the black pants. Melendez in red. And Melendez does have the ability to take his fighter out. Melendez has the power. Sabatier has the style. He's supposed to be a slick fighter. Melendez follows a left round kick in with a nice combination. Sabatier looks like he's about 15 years old, rather than the 23 years old he is. Melendez is able to follow a right hand in with a kick. Sabatier said that he wanted to move around and just feel his opponent out. Neither fighter has seen the other compete, so... They wanted to use it as a feeling out round, but Melendez does not look like he's using it as a feeling out round. He just wants to get right into the action. We've seen some blows throw midway through round number one. And there's a right round kick to the face of Danny Melendez. Caught him right on the chin as he dipped into that one. The standing eight count from referee Paul Kier. That was a beautiful kick right on the chin of Melendez. Under 30 seconds left now. Melendez is still hurt. Melendez's knees are still buckling a little bit there. He hadn't regained his, his footwork yet. He'll try to survive round number one, but Sabatier, to his credit, is trying to do some damage. Ten seconds left. Looks like he's going to make it through this first round. An action-packed first round for the FFKA World Flyweight title. The hometown favorite, Danny Melendez, floored by a round kick from Andre Sabatier. Sabatier said that he wanted to use that round as a feel-out round, and after he uh, felt it out a little bit, he was going to go for it. It looked like he really... Went for it on that round kick right square on the chin of Melendez. It looked like he was landing it on Melinda's shoulder, but Melendez was ducking just a little bit, using a little bit of head movement. 
Here it is, Jeff. Here he goes. You watch how he throws it, and he ducked, dropped that arm right down. He dropped the left, and that opened the, the door for Andre Sabatier. That is a basic, basic mistake. You should never drop your hands to block those kicks. You should be using your elbows. Sabatier, and now the corner of Melendez with trainer Pat Sullivan and Dave Marquis. Round two scheduled for 12. We'll see if Melendez able to clear his head after being floored in the first. Melendez in red, Sabatier in black. Sabatier is going to take advantage of that round kick now. You see him throwing it again. He might have detected a weakness on Melendez here and wants to capitalize on it. And again, Melendez goes down off the kick by Sabatier. An early standing eight count here in round number two. Melendez has not got his head cleared yet. Sabatier walks right in. Melendez trying to hold on. Trying to hold on. Paul Kier's warning him for that. And there's another right round kick, and Melendez falls face down. That caught him right behind the left ear. I do not think he will be able to continue this fight. And that's it. That's Paul Kier stops the fight midway through the second round, and Melendez is still unsure of himself. He found the weakness with that back leg round kick and landed it right behind the left ear. And the Frenchman from Marseille gets a nice hand from the folks here in Portland as Andre Savatier knocks out the hometown favorite Melendez midway through the second round. Melendez never got his head cleared after that first round. Let's take a look at that first kick knockdown. There it is, right on the ear and followed by a right hand. Nice combination work by Sabatier. Here's the next one, right on the ear. Those are devastating. When it catches on the back left side of that head, and of course Melendez was still dazed from the one before that in the first round. And you know a fighter's in trouble when he falls face first. I'm surprised Melendez even got up to his feet. Okay, so Melendez is up and okay and exchanges greetings with Sabatier, the victor, the new FFKA World Flyweight Champion. And Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in a minute and five seconds in the second round by knockout and the FFKA World Champion in the blue corner from France, Andre Sabatier! And so Sabatier receives the championship bout from the FFKA head Cherry Nye. And he'll take it back to Marseille, France proudly. The 23-year-old with just a second knockout of his professional career, his 35th win overall against just one defeat. He overcame the cultural differences and the favorable crowd that was going to Danny Melendez, but Andre Sabatier, the winner, and let's go into the ring now to Jeff Smith. 